Today we will talk about what exactly is going to get God's attention in this hour. There are so many things that we have done. What exactly is going to get God's attention in this hour? There are so many things that we have done. In this hour, I have found out this morning, the Holy Spirit said, what gets my attention is a contrite heart and a broken spirit. And I want to go to Psalm 52, 51, excuse me, Psalm 51, verse 16 and 17. Going through the motions doesn't please you. A flawless performance is nothing to you. I learn God worship when my pride was shattered. My heart shattered. Lives ready for love. Don't for the moment escape God's notice. So we always hear this all the time. What is a broken spirit, and a contrite heart. They are the heart of people who are so distraught over their sin that they know their only hope is to humbly cry out to Jesus for forgiveness. For some people, it takes terrible circumstances and consequences to bring them to this place. They have to hit rock bottom. And we know the familiar passage in Psalm 51, who that pertains to, and that was when David hit rock bottom. So it is time for us to realize when we can't move and maneuver through the schemes of life to realize that we have just hit rock bottom. We have no answers. We are trying daily to just pray and fast and believe God, but seem like the answers are not there. Okay, this is a time that we have hit rock bottom and God is requiring more, more of us to surrender more of us to sacrifice, more of us to get away from our daily agenda. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us in this hour, O oh Lord, to stay quiet before you, to be still and know that you are God. There is none other God that can calm our soul and keep us from the path of sin. Father, we call on you to walk with us and show us how to proceed in this time of what seems to be the most tumultuous time of our lives. There are those that still refuse to let go of their idols, whether it be earthly positions or even exalting their personality that helps them to belittle and destroy by strength and authority. We come before you, O God, to surrender and ask that you have mercy for our family, our friends, our coworkers, our enemies, to not destroy us in this land. Father, by faith, we change in this hour our attitudes, and we're asking for the anointing to see that there needs to be a change, a turnaround. We also are asking for the anointing and the fire to pray and drive out the virus on, out of us and in this country and other countries abroad. Father, we pray against suicide, selfishness, pride, self-righteousness, busyness, unforgiveness. We ask that you would allow your blood 
in this hour to saturate us, be upon our doorposts so the deaf angels will pass our homes, our families, our neighbors. You are the God that is able to keep us from falling. You are the God that can provide us peace in the midst of chaos. Restore our families. Put reminders in each other, family members, to love them without the agenda of self-gain. Protect us from danger seen and unseen. Cover us, Lord, under the blood of Jesus. Father, there are some that are overwhelmed in this hour. They see death all around. They see no hope. They see no legacy. They see no future. Help them in the path of life by surrendering to you. God, our desire is sacrifices and a broken spirit and a contrite heart towards you because that you will not despise and it gets your attention. The one who humbles themselves in the word is the one that you will help see through in this hour, not the one that reads the word and go about their daily agendas and their habits, but the one that decides to cry out before you and their spirit is crushed for the sin they have committed. Help us to be like what you said. Clothe us in righteousness and humility toward one another. You, O oh God, oppose the proud, and you give us grace to be humble. Father, we are in knowledge that you, when it comes to you, it is not enough to say, I'm sorry. Father, remove the mask and the, ca- the mask from our eyes and the calluses from our heart. When, when our lives are falling apart because of chaos, you are the one that puts it back together. There is strength and focus and determination in your grace. Lord, pass over us, Father, with anger. Father, let your grace and your freedom of stability be in our lives. We understand that forgiveness is a command and that we must proceed quickly, quickly. We must forgive. It doesn't matter if it comes from our past. It doesn't even matter if it came yesterday or even even after this afternoon. We must quickly forgive in this hour. This is what you are calling us to do. We pray for our prodigals. We pray for our daughters. We pray for our sons. We pray for our husbands. We pray for our wives. Father, in the name of Jesus, be in their lives in this hour. Enable them to not have business as usual. Our prodigals, Father, help us to not remind them of their sins. Help our families to come together in the name of Jesus. Help us to relinquish our hurts and to put it in our past. Help us to not again carry our past into what you are doing now. Oh, Lord, we surrender again, I say to you. Help us to observe our thoughts. Let us, Father, in the name of Jesus, appreciate each other more and not take each other for granted. Lord, help us to not go around and think we are right or we have to prove ourselves as right or we have to prove ourselves and use your words to prove ourselves as right in such a way that we have offended our sisters and brothers. Give us strength, Father, in this hour. Our souls may be weary and enable us to realize in this season We will receive your reward, provided we humble ourselves and realize how you would desire for us to be before you and find out what your agenda is for us in this hour. 
Father, we are standing in the gap for those, Father, that have the disease and those that may be rushed to the hospital this afternoon. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is upon your people. The blood of Jesus is upon the one that is recovering. Father, that they won't lose heart and be discouraged or or to be in depression or think that this is it it, and at the brink of healing and decide to give up. Lord, we intercede for every one of those. Father, we're asking, God, that you remove anger and resentment and bitterness and pride and arrogance, self-pity self-righteousness, guilt, torment, generational curses, anguish, suffering. Father, in the name of Jesus, some of us are really going around feeling guilt of the past. Lord Jesus, Father, we leave that at the cross. Father, we leave that at the feet of Jesus. We leave that before you so that we can see what you have for us next. We take full responsibility, Lord, for our actions. And we're asking, God, that you come before us and reveal what is essential in this hour for your kingdom. And those things that are non-essential, Lord, enable us, God, to walk away from it. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we give you everything else in this hour. In the midst of all that we have done, even up until yesterday, Today, to prepare for today, we give it to you, O oh Lord, Father, that you may bless it and that you will heal the land. You will heal our country. You will heal our homes. You will heal our families. You will restore relationships in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. Lord, in Jesus' name, help us, God, to not have an agenda of manipulation. Help us, God, to have not have an agenda to make sure everyone is on our side. But, Lord, have an agenda, Father, that only has you. We wipe everything, Father, that we've had before to say that we are yours. But our being yours, is being true to your kingdom and leaving a legacy to our children to see the trueness of what it takes to serve God in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. God, be with us in this hour. God, keep us in this hour. God, cleanse us in this hour. Lord, we are before you, O Lord. Father, in you we put our trust. We put our trust in you, O God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, we magnify you in our lives. It is not about what man says or does, God, but it is about what you do. And, Father, we know that you will not be mocked. You will not be mocked. And, God, because you will not be mocked, Lord, we leave it at the throne. Everything that we have done before to make things work in our behalf, Lord, in Jesus' name, we know, God, you will not move forward until we repent of our sin. Then you will heal the land. Father, we're asking, God, Father, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, that you go with each and every leader, Father, to humble themselves and not even consider the virus as the everyday agenda, but the virus as your judgment, that we have to surrender before you in this hour because we don't even know what we have touched or what we have done that allowed this virus to stay even in this day. But, Lord God, we're asking, Lord, that you be with us so that you will heal us and our people and this land. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.